Angelic Empowerment International Network is proudly sponsored in part by No Surrender Ottawa, a group of individuals who have realized that there is a gap in the animal shelter and welfare services that urgently needs filling. No Surrender with a focus on keeping people and pets together through good times and bad times and aims to fill that gap. Please help support our animals. For more information, go to facebook.com forward slash no surrender ottawa or triple w no surrender dot ca offer a donation foster adopt all the links are provided for you in the description box no surrender keeping people and their pets together Hello and welcome. My name is Lorraine Katz from Intuitive Tarot and I'm here to give you your monthly um, podcast. Um, I am uh, reading again from my favorite decks, the Osho Zen Buddhist Influenced Tarot deck and the Druid Animal Oracle deck, which you can probably see in the background here. Um, So I pulled one card from the Osho Zen, which gives us our overarching theme. And I pulled four cards from the Animal Oracle deck. So um, this month's uh, forecast is for the Flower Moon. And the Flower Moon full moon runs from May 5th through to June 2nd. Um, So the first card I pulled uh, was uh, the Mage or existence. I'll put it over here so you can see better. Um, This card is really a very good card to have this energy being uh, the central theme for this uh, lunar month. This is all about manifesting and uh, using your willpower and your confidence is, is like really strong this month that's what this uh card talks to me about and it talks about feeling very secure and confident the the figure in this card is sitting on a lotus leaf so feeling very relaxed and in your power literally empowered and able to uh make a wish on a star manifest what you're you've been dreaming of or uh helping it you have all the tools and resources skill power it's just a matter of intent and 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 a bit of push to make what you want happen happen so that's a really positive card for our overarching theme the month um starts off with the first week around may 5th through to the 12th um with some tension um the card i pulled is uh from the druid animal oracle deck and i pulled the eagle card now the eagle card i pulled it reversed so what this means is eagle is a very very powerful um bird uh in the druid um system it's considered one of the oldest uh sacred animals and when it shows up reversed um the elements that this uh bird is associated with is obviously air but also water so when this card shows up reversed it's not so much about air which is thoughts and beliefs um concepts um but instead it's about water and water is about emotion so when this card shows up reversed it's saying that you don't want to overanalyze. You don't want to be all in your head at this time. It's about leading with your heart and trusting your heart. So go with your emotions. I mean, back it up with the intellect and everything, but it's about leading with your heart. The next card I pulled um, is bear. We get bear fair, fairly often, I think. We've had bear before. Um, Bear is uh, the energy that is going to be here in our lunar month from May 13th 
to about the 19th. And Bear is all about primal power. It's tapping into your earthier side. Um, it's about nurturing. Uh, Mama Bear, think Mama Bear, protective kind of nurturing. And sometimes it's yourself that you're being protective of, not always somebody else. Um, it also is a message to uh, not just lead with your heart, but also to trust your instincts. Um, be fierce, but stay grounded. That's, that's what this card to me talks about. Um, and embracing um, your your nurturing side, but also not being afraid to fight and be self-protective or protective of things that you are deeply involved in. Um, make sure that people are not uh, messing with your boundaries this week. The next week is a really another lovely card that I think we've had before. It's the swan. And swan is, uh, it tells me that this week of the month is going to be amazing. Uh, this is May 20th to the 26th. When swan shows up, swan is about uh, doing soul work, like doing a really beautiful, deep soul work. Um, it's about, um, having a grace while you're doing it too, like the ease of a swan just gliding across, um, a lake, like it's glass, like it's just things comes gracefully and easily during this time when swan is, uh, energy is in your life. Um, the other thing that this card talks about to me is, um, loyalty, um, and friendship, like good soul sister or soul brother kind of um, energy showing up because uh, <clears throat> swans also talk about the, the mating bond. So it's about feeling that con connection where you feel a soul connection with someone. Um, it's also about uh, love and the healing power of love. Um, and it also, to me, um, talks a lot about um swans to me talk about transformation as well there's lots of um stories about princesses being turned into swans um swan lake is a prime example of that so it's talking about transformation and it also has uh strong links also to um the other worldliness fairy magic so when swan shows up there's there's magic in the air there's, there's love and deep, deep, um, deep connection happening. And also um, the ability to have uh, and appreciate the, the gentle beauty and wonder of the world around you. So, so far, the cards are really supporting the overarching card uh, that I pulled at the beginning. The final card of the month is frog and i just i laughed when it showed up because the other name for this month besides it being called the flower moon is frog moon because it's also when um when the the frogs uh are uh the the, the tadpoles are starting to hatch um so that's why it's called the frog moon um and frog, I'll put that up so you can see it better. Frog is just a beautiful card. And frog uh, ties the end of this lunar month up really nicely. Um, this will be from May 27th, ending around June 2nd when, when um, the next full moon shows up. So um, frog is about healing uh, medicine. Um, frogs are often... Um, associated with shamanic uh, traditions um, because uh, the, the hallucinogenic uh, properties that some frogs have uh, on their skin, but also the, the whole eye of, eye of frog, tongue of newt. Um, because frogs uh, live on both water and land um, and they're seen as being um, 
very powerful. They uh, live in multiple realms, therefore they're connect connected to the other world. Uh, they're also connected with, with um, magic and healing. Um, so the other thing um, Brog talks about when it, when it shows up in a reading is uh, tapping into um, or developing um, hidden gifts. Uh, it also talks about uh, a heightened sensitivity during this time as well. Um, the other thing this talks to me about in terms of shamanic practice, if this is something that you're pulled towards, um, frog also because it um, is very graceful in water. Um, it harkens back to the swan and being comfortable with emotional states. Um, it also talks to me about uh, the song of the frog and the graceful movements of the frog. So using music, uh, song, singing, sound, or um, movement um, to help you access some of your hidden, you know, or deeper gifts uh, in terms of developing um, shamanic traits. So a lot of, uh, a lot of traditions among uh, shamanic people who have uh, shamanic uh, techniques that they use, a lot of those techniques uh, to develop uh, an altered state of consciousness revolve around sound and movement, song, dance, uh, repetition of songs, repetition of a rhythm, repetition of a movement. So um, this to me hints that if it's something that you're working on, that you might want to incorporate some of these things in your practice. Um, it also could just be you need to sing and dance and have fun. Um, if you're not working on shamanic, uh, uh, developing your shamanic talents. Um, the other thing that this card talks to me about is um, the idea of uh, going beneath the surface because um, frogs will uh, swim deep in the water. So um, not just uh, accepting something on the surface, uh, going a little bit deeper, which again brings us full circle and back to the eagle that is diving into the water to catch uh, the fish. Um, so, uh, it also talks to me, I'll, I'll do a, a quick overview. So this we this month is all about, um, making your dreams come true, manifesting your heart's desire, feeling calm and relaxed and in a place of, of, um, feeling secure. The first week from May 5th through 12th, we have the Eagle Reverse, which is talking about going deeper into something that might be new territory for you. So leaving the safe intellectual realm and going deeper into something emotional. Um, and, um, and Eagles also have to do with uh, clarity. So getting a real sense of uh, the direction you want to be moving in. The second week of this lunar month, we have bear showing up. That's May 13th to 19th. This is about being protective, perhaps, of your space, your time, your energy, uh, the project that you're taking on or whatever it is you're developing um, and going with your instincts. Uh, lead with your heart, then follow your instincts. And then the third week of the lunar month, we'll find you literally in a state of grace, feeling like everything is beautiful and clean and there's a lot of love and support. There's connections happening. Um, it feels uh, like there's a lot of, um, there's like magic in the air and you can tap into it. Um, and the final week of this uh, full flower moon, full frog moon is the frog. And this is all about uh, healing med med medicine, transforming uh, and shape-shifting is also part of the theme in this month. And then you also have the idea of, of um, 
developing hidden gifts, uh, increased sensitivity, and um, things are not always what they appear on the surface. So go a little, look a little closer. So that's what I have for you this lunar month. Um, I hope my uh, reading has been helpful and that you uh, can go through this month feeling much more positive because these cards are really, really good. Like I haven't seen a month this good in a long time. So I wish you the best. I will hopefully see you next uh Next month, we'll be doing um, the Strawberry Moon in June. Um, and I think we might be doing a fundraising, if I remember correctly, for um, to help with a, a friend, friend, a, a furry um, canine friend is in need of having some uh, expensive dental work done, I think. So hopefully we can talk about that next time. Um, I wish you the best and uh, enjoy this month. It's uh, going to be a good one. Bye.